they might still look at you and say, call you by what they think you was. Let them call you whatever they want to call you. They won't know you've been settled. Do I have anybody? Hey, you got a limp, but you've been settled. Some issues have been settled. You know whose side you're on now. Tell your neighbor, I'm on the Lord's side. But it wasn't without a limp. It cost me something. I lost a few friends along the way. But I've been settled now. I'm in the right church right now. I don't need to bounce out of this church or bounce out of that church. Because somebody got me mad. Or somebody got on my nerves. I've been settled. Somebody holler for me. to being so. That's what Paul said. Paul said, I've learned in whatever state I'm in, there would to be content. Meaning, he said, whether I'm full or empty, I'm settled. Whether they clapping for me or they cussing me out, I'm settled. Whether I can pay my bills or I got all the money in China, I'm settled. Because it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. I don't trust people that don't have a limp. Don't talk to me unless you got a limp. Don't try to listen. And, and listen, here's the last footnote. Be careful who you criticize. Because you don't know what God's going to do to them. Be careful who you get ready to put your foot on. Because the same person you get ready to put your foot on might be the same person you need to bless you. Father, have your way in this place. Ain't no way we're going to serve you and not have a limp. You told the man who was born crippled and he carried his friends, took him and lowered him down from the rooftop and when you forgave his sins you said which is easier that I forgive his sins or I say to him that's sick of the parsley rise up take up that bed and walk and the same moment he walked and the scriptures say he carried that bed with him Lord thank you that you brought me out and I don't have to act like I wasn't in something uh, thank you for the testimony I have because when I share the testimony I have somebody else will realize that they don't have to stay in prison the rest of their life Lord I released it like you gave it to me now let it not come back to you void but let it accomplish what is being said to do let them not just be settled with the suffering anybody could suffer but let them go through the process of suffering. Let them go through the process of being perfected. Yes. Let them go through the process of being established, strengthened, and then let them know that all this will come to an end. Yes, sir. That you will settle us. Amen. It is your word. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come on and clap your hands to the Lord. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on. He's been good. So many doors he's opened. As you get ready to give. Come on. So many doors you open. So many ways you made. So many times. I haven't been sick in my body, but my mind has been sick. So many times you healed my mind. Do I have anybody here? You've been a picture of good health, but your mind has been crazy as a bat. Who am I preaching to about right now? Come on, ushers. Ben. God, what, you know, what in the world is going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm sitting in my kitchen, and I didn't understand it. And then these words came, and I said, I buy one house, lose it. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. 